Okay, I'd like to give you a brief demonstration on how the composite panel builder software works. Um, so first of all, you have to load the program and you pull up one of your drawings and then you just click on this green checkbox and it starts uh, to load the program. Here's your main dialog setup. Uh, we're going to be uh, working in the TS210 system today. Um, and here's your color selections available for it. And every time you pick something, all your uh, choices come in. And then uh, you just pick what you want, for example, stone beige, and you just set your color. Um, you know, you make sure that you have your sheet sizes and your thicknesses all set. But I'm just going to be using these two colors for the demonstration purposes. And inside here, too, you can do your job number, customer job settings, you know, information about your client. Um, what your edge clearances are going to be, uh, joint size, um, even down to uh, uh, what's the diameter of the holes going to be for the uh, uh, clips or the brackets that are going to get mounted. Um, and then over here we have paths to the output of where uh, any reports or stuff like that is going to get written to. So you can navigate to any network drive or anything you want. So anyway, that's how you set it up. Uh, I'm going to save and uh, didn't make any changes so we'll just get out of it. Okay, so um, it's kind of a left or uh, right kind of a flow diagram here. So um, this is a typical um, estimate uh, that people put together and they kind of like draw it and then they figure out where all the rails go, where all the uh, brackets are going to go and how many panels and square footage and stuff like that. So to cut to the chase, uh, what you normally do here is you enter a uh, zone and that's just basically an area that you're going to say I'm going to be working in and uh, this one's going to be elevation dash one it really doesn't matter what you call it okay even if you misspell it so uh, it's okay you can always edit <laughs> ELEV all right uh, apply okay so um, what we're going to do is I, I, I brought in a example um, uh, PFD file from a uh, architectural um, project here and what what you want to do is uh, to get your your grid and all that uh, laid out you're going to take your uh, polyline command and basically just snap you know you're just going to pick the starting point here and then you know make it perpendicular because you already got uh, you already got the polylines or the uh, dimensions laid out for you in this scenario. Um, okay, so there's our um, plan view of it. And we're just going to drop a polyline in here. Uh, the, the way the drawing is laid out, it says that uh, you've got seven um, panels that are two foot. Right here it says two foot and you've got 14. So that means you just have seven uh, segments of, of panels here. So inside uh, one of the miscellaneous commands, there's a divide polyline. I'm just going to divide that into seven equal spots because uh, that's the easiest thing to do. Now that I got that done, uh, my next uh, command here would be the grid. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, there's my plan, there's my section side of it. And I want my grid to come in, let's see if I can get it right there. Um, so the program will automatically uh, figure out where the location of all your aluminum rails are, where the vertical uh, J channels and H channels go, uh, any other uh, miscellaneous stuff will go in there. Um, so one of the things I didn't um, show you uh, was inside this um, rail editor, uh, I have it turned on to use the, uh, the add closure um, strips. Um, the closure strips. So um, they're in there already. Now I can actually, uh, at this point, I can actually take a uh, quick uh, look at uh, what my materials are so far just by hitting that. And I'm, all I've got so far is rails. So, um, you know, there's the joint closures, and uh, that's what I was just talking about a second ago. So let's keep going. Um, now that I got the uh, this area laid out with the thing, I want to throw some panels in there. So I'm going to use my uh, create panel utility and just window that area. And it's going to throw in some panels. I say, what do you want to start with? And I say, uh, let's, let's go with PX01. And it's like, that's what I want. So, and there's, I get the choices of what color I selected. So, it, with this scenario, with all these being equal, you know, you got equal uh, rows here. And so, what it does, it figures out that, hey, those are equal. So, it's going to use the name. So, technically, we only have two panels here. 
Um, so uh, let's go to the next step. And the next step would be to hey, let's uh, let's figure out how many brackets and all that kind of stuff we're going to need. So we're going to throw the holes in, and when you do that, it'll uh, it'll determine you know how many fixed brackets, how many uh, uh, adjustable brackets you're going to need, and and basically every hole. So um, there, there's that. And uh, now let's take a look at that material takeoff one more time. And uh, that's just a calculator, and that's what that polyline's for out there. So now we've got uh, 35 panels, but uh, they're really uh, duplicated panels. And here's our um, um, rails uh, and the lengths of them. And there's your uh, clip anchors and all that. So you're pretty, uh, pretty far along on that area right there. And you can do the same thing. I, I was going to do that, but I don't really need to. Um, let's move up here for a second. Uh, this is, uh, I borrowed a polyline uh, that kind of like stepped out this area over here just to show you that you can do it uh, with just a regular polyline on your drawing. I'm going to do the grid again. Pick this one, pick that one. I like to line them up because uh, I just like to see things uh, in a nice area. Now you could you can come in here and say, well, none of these uh, exist in here. You know, maybe it's maybe it looks similar to that right there. So you could uh, come in and say, well, we'll just use AutoCAD Trim Command, um, and then we'll just pick. Let's just come up to here. We'll pick that line as our top limits, and let's go pick this one. And I'm just kind of showing you that you uh, you're not uh, stuck, okay? So that's um, all those, and hopefully I can see where it was. Um, yeah, about right in there. So I'll just go. Uh, I'll just do a quick uh, entry right there, and then try to get over. Boom. So, and maybe this guy I missed. All right. So, and maybe that guy. Okay, we're done. All right. Now then, all I have to do is erase those uh, temporary uh, panel placements. There we go. And we're going to come in here and say create some panels again. And it'll do the same thing it did uh, on the other one. I'm just going to pick up with the same numbering sequence, same color. And any duplicate panels it finds, it'll it'll use that number again. Even if the duplicates were down here, it'll use it. So um, let me add the uh, rails or the uh, holes. And we'll go to the next step. Now, uh, two different things. We can um, actually we can actually do a estimate on how much how much material is it going to take um, if we look at our estimator estimator again there that's we got all these heavy we got more more volume going on in here now so um, let's look at what the uh, how many sheets we're going to need okay and that's a little optimizer built in right here sheet fill and all I gotta do is select the elevation panels I'm just gonna window through them all and uh, it comes up with a huge list and I'm going to sort the list just by that one color the primary color uh, and I'm going to come back and say okay what size sheet do you think you want to fit all this stuff on uh, 60 by 132 I can pick whatever sheet size I want and now I'm going to say go ahead and fill it and I'm going to start right over here and it's just going to you know just use it all up um, and now it's like okay uh, what's my yield what's all that and um, there's a little utility here that I can just grab that real fast for you and do a window around it and say uh, basically you're at a 70% there's your square footage of material um, and that's the sheet size and you got 41 of them and your panel count is 63 yeah, that's great okay so that would be I mean you could keep on playing this game over and over and over again uh, to, to figure out what uh, the best sheet size is for this uh, and optimize uh, that. Now let's look at the uh, other guys, uh, the actual uh, guy at the CNC machine. What, what does he get out of this? And uh, what he would get out of it is we can uh, stage his, his panels. And here's the list of panels with the uh, quantities of each. So if I wanted to, I could just highlight them all and then stage them. And then I can pick a location on the drawing. I'll just pick it up here. And it's going to walk through every one of those panels, um, uh, the unique panels, and just give you a footprint of what it looks like. And uh, the little dimensions at the top and on the, on the right are basically, uh, uh, you know, the locations of where these holes are going to line up. And you'll throw maybe a note in there to tell you what the diameter of all the holes are, unless it's not, uh, uh, unless you're going to drill a big hole in the middle of it for some reason. 
but uh, in here is some uh, more information about the project. Uh, the information that we filled out at the beginning of the project gets transferred over to here. And anytime you uh, have an update of anything, you can just uh, uh, swap or go right through all these uh, little sheets and, uh, and take care of it. So um, uh, take care of the updates. So basically, uh, you're... Uh, <laughs> Uh, look at we we just did a handful of panels, uh, which isn't really just a handful. It was quite a few, uh, in uh, just about uh, a couple minutes here. And if I wasn't talking, I'd probably have uh, hundreds of panels done. So um, th that's just a quick overview of what this program can do. Um, there's lots of more uh, utilities here. For example, uh, uh, the PDFs. I mean, you could pick one or two of these and and export it to a PDF file, and then. Uh, you know, you can always come back and view it and see what it looked like uh, at the folder, you know, view the output folder. And then, uh, you know, there's the, uh, there's the file. So, uh, I mean, and you can send us, and I, I use a barcode right here, and that's just a barcode font. So, uh, uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you need more, uh, more demonstration, you can give me a call, I'll give you a live demo. So, uh, hey, uh, thanks for listening to all this.